Okay, water heaters inside of the garage, uh, east wall, next to the electric load center, gas, sediment trap, it's fine. I'm not seeing a carrying use manual. This inspection is limited because the gas has been turned, the water has been turned off to the, to the gas water heater. Electricity hasn't been turned off, gas hasn't been turned off to my knowledge, okay? But the water has been turned off to this water heater. So I can't tell you how hot it gets, the builder's going to have to help you with that. You mean I just give up? No. <laughs> no. We get started. See this red tape right here? Okay. That indicates to me that's not molested. The builder of this water heater tank knows about how much pressure is coming in residential. And they get it close. You can bolt this up and use it. But until you take that off and put a nanometer on there and dial it in perfect, it will not perform at optimum or is likely not to perform at optimum performance. It may be set correctly for all we know, but we don't know because they never put a nanometer on it. They never molested this red tape. It's in the instructions. Oh, the instructions that aren't here? Yeah, it's in the instructions that aren't here. Okay. Oh, that was rough, bud. <laughs> okay, let's keep with problems here. See that nipple? Right there. See that? See that thing? You know what that is? This is a high efficiency water heater. That's why our exhaust pipe can be plastic because it rakes all the heat that the gas generates and puts it straight into the water so there's no waste. It makes it high efficiency. So it utilizes all the heat. This does exhaust carbon monoxide and other noxious things and, and stuff that you don't want. You have to exhaust, but it's not exhausting much in the way of heat. Now when you capture heat like that, when you become so high efficient like that, then it creates condensate. And this is a condensate drain pipe. It's in the instructions. The builder wants the condensate drain pipe to come out and make a circle, okay, a loop, okay, and then empty out into an air break like a safety pan that's not here, okay? And then if the safety pan goes outside or goes into your sewer system or depending on, you know, your preference, a lot of people feel like, including myself, a lot of people feel like there should be a neutralizing filter to neutralize the acid out of the condensate before it goes and drains on your yard in that pond you have on the other side. Before it makes its way over here, to the pond, maybe you don't want acid just sitting in that area. Maybe that's not what you want. See, we do not have our condensate drain. It's in the instructions that are here. But it is in the instructions. I'll give you a copy of the installation instructions for this. I'll give you a copy of the installation instructions for this. These are all in the instructions. I didn't make it up. I didn't wake up this morning and say, man, I wonder what I can do with a water heater. I didn't do that. Okay? Now, shame on the installer. Shame on the installer. I get that. Okay, well, I'm not through yet. This is your pressure temperature relief valve. Well, it's not going to go very far because there's no water to it. Okay. This is supposed to terminate. Okay, this is supposed to have a vacuum breaker in the same room as the water heater. So how do we take our acidic condensate through the drain line, through the air gap, have an air gap for our pressure relief valve. How do we do that? What's the easiest, most, inner, most efficient, cost-effective way to do that? Would be to put a safety pan here. And the drain, the condensate could drain into the safety pan, the pressure relief valve could drain into the safety pan, and the safety pan drains outside like this is already doing. No extra pipes or nothing. It's, a, it's the most economical, easy solution in, to install in this water heater properly. They said we don't have to have, oh, they said pans are only required if you have tanks. Well, a lot of tankless water heaters, 
okay, on their instructions, they will recommend a tank. Uh, excuse me, they will recommend a safety pin. And if they don't recommend a safety pin, well, a safety pin is the easiest way to get it installed to code and manufacturer's instructions. It's not that difficult.